You threw me in the deep end here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? We are in America, in Florida. Juicebox and Drift Games are here. And we are going to Clutch Kickers round four. We can't really believe we're here. We're taking our very unexciting Kia No Soul rental car <laughs> to see our very exciting car, which is a Corvette C6 I'll be driving this weekend. We're generally blown away that we're even here and got the invite, so uh, Neil, it's pretty exciting. We started lovely here at a beautiful IHOP, had some pancakes, and uh, yeah, going to the Freedom Factory. We are here, boys. We are here. We're very impressed. We are very impressed. <laughs> yeah, we're today. just impressed yeah. by the lovely weather. It's just very nice. I don't care if there's anything at the end of this road, as long as there's more nice weather. <laughs> that is a rig. Wow. That is a full on rig. How cool is it that someone can just buy an old like NASCAR track? Just just like from you just go, I'm just gonna make some cool stuff with it. Yeah, and he's made it work. Fresh energy into something yeah. like this and it was totally abandoned. Like this was a useless piece of land. Yeah. It must be funny just being surrounded by Corvettes now. You're like, ah. It's so funny how you would come here and it would be a novelty. I'm going, it's the only thing that's not a novelty to yeah. me is a Corvette. But it's cool seeing the stuff on the internet and then coming straight back. And going, yeah, you're want. not just the only person with one. Yeah. Some amount of tire marks. <laughs> like, laid down. You go to a racetrack and they're always like, you know, drifting and like burnouts and stuff are kind of like their least favorite thing. Yeah. And here, 98% of what happens here is burnout yeah. drifting. Just wrecking like. Just wreck the place, blow stuff up, smash into things. That's brilliant. Yeah. Just the grass. Ooh, it's spiky. quite aggressive. like being a tall man in a in compacted a, in a car. car. I'd say I'm not going to clear with a helmet there. Yeah. I'm trying to go over here. Lovely Mark IV Super. Just, yeah. Ah, it's a 15 footer. Don't, hey, back up a little bit. <laughs> Get the sun in your eyes a little bit and it's a really it nice looks, hefty crash It looks bag. good though. It's actually Man. my only legal vehicle. Area. Really? Yeah. <laughs> actually a decent trip, but and then this is the worst part. It's got 15,000 miles on it this year. Uh, I, it's got fresh plugs and oils for the first time for this round. Yeah. And uh, it's a stock work van engine. It's an L33 HO. Nice. 53. This would be like a full high-end competition car in Ireland. I feel like you have an advantage because if I was lining up behind you, I'd go, I'm not going near that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'm tell you what, if anybody, I've lost all these doors. I'm down, this is my last pair of fiberglass doors. All I got left, leave, <laughs> Please leave me alone. alone. <laughs> just don't touch me. Just like, to see a Supra that's just well used, and it's used as a road car. Like, and none of it's like, oh, this has to be perfect. It's just, no. I want to get as much fun as I can out of this car, yeah. which I think is so lost now. Yeah, I think so. And then the fact that it's well used, it has character. What I would do, do you know what I would do if I was driving this? I would go over here, and I would turn it off, yeah. and I would leave it off, <laughs> And I would just go get another car. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is too Even nice. I'm getting nervous looking at like nice tail lights. A fresh build. Yeah. That isn't like a modern chassis. It's just like, no, I'm going to do my Zenki S14 the way I wanted to do it. I'm going to go drift it. What I love about it is you've got such extremes. Like you go, this is street style, really, really nice. And then you go, this is now built for the smash. So what's going on, Dave? <laughs> going out and normal, like as if you were just heading out for a few points. <laughs> going on a night out. So yeah. I'm, going to, I'm going to go drift a crazy. Crazy Corvette yeah. and a scary track and a pair of vans. Yeah, and, in, and jeans. In just nice clothes. Just nice clothes. <laughs> it's, it's much more relaxed than most competitions we do, but it's kind of nice too. Like yeah, yeah. I like the no windows for a little bit of air yeah. through as well. So this is going to be my first time heading down the track. A little bit nervous, but I think once I get two or three laps in, I'll feel a lot more comfy and a lot more excited to be driving. So let's get these two or three out of the way. They're always the scariest. Okay. And then we'll be we'll be okay. Let's yeah. hope for no issues in the first two or three, and then we're away for the weekend. I like the. I like the design on the vans. This is the biggest safety thing I'm doing this weekend is just tying my laces. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a lot of people at home now are just watching just a, man, out. a man tying his laces. And that's entertainment, folks. Yeah. That's entertainment. This is what you've been waiting for.
little nervous. I drove a little nervous in those first practice rounds. Car is very loud, its track is very weird. I think I got a little overwhelmed with the whole occasion. Everybody else has done three rounds or so on these tracks, yeah. so they all know the grip, the level, everything. So I was just trying to get a little bit of a feel. And I got a bit of feel of the grass, I got a bit of feel of spinning around, but then we kind of hooked it up a little bit on a couple of the runs. We're changing a couple of things on the car, not because the car has any problems, because me, the squishy bit in the car, wants to make it a little bit easier. So we're changing the front tire setup to the same as I would have in Ireland, which is a smaller tire, makes the steering a little bit lighter, and the car has very little side bite. So what that means is when you throw into a corner, pull the handbrake, instead of the car slowing down, which is what my Corvette would do, it actually lifts the back and goes faster which is very strange to kind of control because you, you usually use the handbrake to slow down as a brake, but it's actually now an accelerator again, and then you have two accelerators and you get confused. So what we're doing is we're going to keep the tires the way they are, but we're going to take the rear sway bar out of the car, which is like the rear. It sort of makes the car move a little bit more, meaning when it comes in, it'll dig a little bit more into the ground, meaning that hopefully I get a bit more side bite. So a little change on the front, a little change on the back, and then a little change in here. So we got another three hours of practice to go. I'm going to try and get some like, if I could go home today with like two or three good runs where I'm like, okay, they're the settlers, I know I can do it, then I'll feel very happy. But to be honest with you, good, bad, spinning around or in the grass, not a great time, so let's keep going. All right, guys, we're gonna take a quick break from the action to thank one of our partners at Drift Games, Link ECU. As you can see, there's some crazy cars at this event, but a lot of them are running Link ECU because there's so much temperature, so much heat, and so much horsepower. You gotta monitor everything and make sure it's running cool and running right. And Link ECU means you can plug your laptop into the car, check everything's running. But even if you're not running a pro car and you're just running a street car, make sure you swap out your standard old school ECU for something a bit more modern. You get more power, more reliability. So check out LinkECU.com for their full range. What's that? I said, you know what's funny? I watched when I first, this is like, this looks so young. But when I started, when I started watching Formula Drift years ago, your car was one of my favorite cars on the grid back in the day. So yeah. what age were you when you started FD? Um, I think I was entering in FD in 2012. Um, so yeah, like, I don't exactly know the age, but a you little over... You were a kid. Like. Yeah, yeah, I really was. Because we were, we always have 13 year old, 14 year old, 15 year old drifters in Europe, but never really in the States. It was always kind of like a mid 20s, late yeah. 20s thing, but you were super young. Yeah. And now you're back drifting again yeah. in clutch kickers in what I think is one of my favorite cars. Thank you. Because you've always had the style down. This thing is like, and it's unusual because it has an S14 front on a 180. It actually works really well. Yeah, I, I like the flow for sure. And really, it came from uh, trying to find headlights. So like bricks, and yeah. I had the like I had an S13 front on it, and I just kept breaking stuff. So super simple in a setup. I love this. My favorite part of America is when you open it. It looks like this. Thing. Super simple. Does that look like a super simple? Well, look. I it mean, is simple, but you know what I mean. For us, it's like, jeez, look at the yeah, size of this yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, there is a dry sump on it, so that's kind of high end, I guess. But this is a LSX 427 bottom end on LS3 heads. Golan Engine builds them for me. So we did 609 horsepower to the wheel and then like 710 the to the wheel. That's a yeah, lot. there's like uh, maybe 15 miles on this motor right now. So the, today's the first day on the new motor. So that's like 710 fly. Fly. Yeah, I did seven, and I think. NA. NA, yeah, there's no nothing. Just like, NA setup. If you had a 2JZ and you wanted 710 horsepower, like you're going down the rabbit hole there of a lot of Right, stuff. right, right. Well, best of luck tomorrow. All right, Have thank fun. you. Yeah. Good to see you after you such too. a long time as well. Yeah, welcome, welcome. We're going for Glad a ramble. We're going to continue. The front, you can you have to hang that up in the garage yeah, now. Be a, a nice momento. Now. The good thing about the Corvettes is that the front isn't steel, so like you could you can just put it. Oh wow! So I haven't fully taken this one off yet. I want to. I want to get the HDK stuff. Yeah. That you have, so it's removable. Right now, this is still the stock one, so it has all the adhesive that like takes forever to get off. But once you do it, it's amazing. Which I, like I really should have done that because this fiberglass melted so bad. There was like nothing there. So Neil, just to educate you on Corvettes here, yes. that, uh, so everything looks metal, but it's not metal. Yeah. So the entire thing is like plastic, wow. aluminium, and the, even the bulkhead is plastic. So the firewall is fiberglass, wow. really? composite, weird mix up. That was the worst part about the engine bay fire, is that that was so damaged that I just, 
I had to layer it with different types of primers and try and fix it as best as I could. You could still see sort of the texture because it just it just eats into the yeah. Yeah, it literally it literally melts. So I did extra flake to try and in the sun cover up <laughs> any unevenness. Extra flake everything. Yeah, when in doubt, extra flake. I can look around a Corvette and go, ah, yes, ah, yes. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at. The most miserable part of a Corvette is, is this panel here. So this panel goes from here all the way down ah, to there. Underneath. If you try and take it off, you spend about five minutes doing that and then you leave it. Yeah. Which is what we did because it's glued only. Okay. There's no screws, no bolts. It's just glue. And the glue is like super strong. It's like a structural glue. So if you try and heat it and take it off, we went like a little bit on mine and then went, Ah, uh, I can't be bothered, it's too much work. However, this is the bit that gets hit by cars and drifting. You didn't see how it's been repaired many, many times? <laughs> so it's, it's the, it's the weak, weak point of a Corvette, is the fact that this is like impossible to fix and yeah. change or do anything with, and it's just so awkward to fix. So that's always where you get hit and drifting is here. And this thing is like, you just gotta keep fixing it, because it's like a plastic, it's basically a plastic car. It's quite hard. You'll feel that, Neil, uh, and that's off the car. And, and it's it's awful oil like, which is mad. Yeah, so, so on one of those uh, onboards, you'll have seen that the car just shut off on the first corner. We didn't really know what it was, but it turns out that one of the fans had fried, so the ECU then was cutting it off. So, yeah. is this your car? Yeah, brand new. This thing is nice. Thanks. I was, we were, okay, so I'm gonna have to let you in on a secret. Okay. So in Ireland, <laughs> they have IS 200s, yeah. and the whole scene is these IS 200s that are very very not nice, uh, just stock doing donuts with 120 horsepower that's yeah. kind of how it works and people are very fascinated by it but it's again an entry level yeah. and everyone thinks that I hate them but I actually always say that I love them if they have a better engine and they look cool and, yeah. and another one for the case and they're done right, they're done right. It's beautiful man such a nice example you haven't cut like a ton out of it either no, it's, like, it's pretty simple I like to keep my car simple the OS 300 over here came with the two, NA2J, NA2J in it, didn't it? Yeah. This we is didn't. like, I, if I was building one, this is exactly I know, I would, yeah. I don't, If I built one, it wouldn't be this nice. Because yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have imagined. Because I think the, the off color wheels, like, if you, yeah. like, you know when you sit there and you go, so I'm painting it red, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put luminous green wheels on it, you go, somebody just go, what? But then Crazy. it works so well. Yeah, with the livery, with it the ties livery, well. Like the little yeah. You get the yeah. yellow and the pink and the chrome. All those new gram lights are lovely as well. Like. Look at, like, look at that interior, it's so simple. Like stock dash with a little bit added to it. I like this kind of street drift style. I think yeah. that's really good. Is this a road car as well, or is yeah, it? Yeah, I can drive it on the street too. Mad. Like yeah. we're blown away over here yeah. because you couldn't have this on the road in Ireland. Yeah. It's either a road car or like a track car. Yeah, Florida's not very strict. Yeah. So. Our inspections are horrible. You can't have yeah. welding cages. Yeah. You can't have a load of stuff. Zero garage wide body. Yeah. I was about to say. Okay. This, yeah. this is very tidy because yeah. normally you either get it run over the door, which is really annoying to fit, yeah. or it's done a bit too small, but yep. this one's like really nice. Yeah, it flows well because the car is very narrow from the factory. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm building a Verosa at the moment, which is the same. Yeah, it's chassis. exactly the same underneath. Just as a, yeah, just yeah. one just same. Yeah. Thing. Rear subframe, everything the same. It's, it's very cool to see them done well. This is giving me a little bit of inspiration. Awesome. Like I love the the, the bright wheels. Yeah. It's cool. Well, then have fun tomorrow. Thanks. Enjoy. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, man. Good Take care. You guys. Yep. So here's your your regular, like everyday common everyday Mark Three Supra with a Barra. Just, yeah. You know. It's still straight six. Fall, falling over them. Uh, they're, like, they're everywhere. <laughs> just, uh, so why a Barra? Why you just... Uh, actually, a buddy of mine turned me on to him and I did a bunch of research. And I was like, okay, well, it's cool. Uh, how do I get one? I think the next day or the day after, it was... I had one, found one. A guy in Australia, of course, they're only available yeah. in Australia and New Zealand. So, found a guy. They get shipped as parts. So, two, cr or two pallets. A uh, it was a block with electronics and then a head with just uh, basically all the other bolts and accessories. Oh, he got a big old turbo in that as well. Yeah. What sort of power is this thing? Uh, right now it makes 750. Wow. On 18 pounds, so. Fly or wheel? To the wheel, yep. So, again, that's 850 and to the fly. It's a big old block, actually. They're like, very, very, very long and they're tall. Very long and tall. Like they're, they look like they would be in like, a truck or something. It's a very unusual engine. Over 800 horsepower in a Mark III Supra with a Ford Australian bar engine with a 350Z gearbox and R35 GTR coils. How, it, like, do you know what I mean? Do you ever notice, like, this, is a, this car is essentially a stew, is what we would call it. You've just taken bits yeah. from everything and put it in and it tastes yeah. amazing, yeah. but it shouldn't. I, I, wanted, I wanted to paint it orange so I could throw some Chevy in there, but. The guys wouldn't let me do it in the shop. <laughs> you just, you just have to calm down. I'm looking forward to seeing this tomorrow, man. The yeah. drifting is over. <laughs>
Neil and I have found a proper drag strip where they race each other for big money yeah. and have wild cars. And so we, what is it like? They, they're not putting the times on the board nope. so people can race each other and kind of do grudge matches almost. But they don't know what the other guy's time's going yeah, yeah, yeah. before So that. it's like emulating street racing almost. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It's so cool that all this is just going on. Like, a, What is it, a Friday? Friday night. Yeah, just a Friday night. Friday night grudge match drag racing. Yeah. In your local town. Finish up the drifting and head over here. Noise, they're just the loudest thing ever. That was like... That's a proper like yeah, grand kind yeah. of shit like the grip there. Dry cars <laughs> to the starlight they use smart cars and minis. It's mad that they actually try race these. Like of all aerodynamic bricks. Yeah. Like this is not an aerodynamic car. Where are these? Like twenty What a mental thing, like 1,500 horses. And then that thing makes, well, so far we've made like 3,000, but it really makes more. This one? Yeah, yeah, it's a billet pro mod motor. What? Look us up on YouTube, cut the check racing. We did a wheelie stand in that car on a hard tire. No way. Wow. <laughs> no radiator, so that's the way we cool them. You, you just cycle through, through the motor, and it comes back through, and there's a pump inside of there. So the ice keeps it cool. Yeah. And you're only running them for a few minutes anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to have one of these, but it did not have a few minutes. Yeah. No, it shifts on its own. We have fuel tech. Look at that wheel. It's got a parachute. Wow. Put all the ice in there. So yeah, ice in there. That's crazy. <laughs> you still got like scooters in it. Well, yeah, that, well, it's, it used to be, a, if when you look us up on YouTube, you'll see, even though we had a big pro charge set up in here, an F3 for years, yeah. and it was still street drivable, but now it's like no more street. <laughs> we try to keep it still kind of looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't put it on the street. But like it has like back seats and all the normal stuff. It's crazy. You know? Wow. Yeah, it's... we uh, make a lot of horsepower. Yeah, it does. I need like, like, like it's capable of 3,000 horsepower? Yeah. At the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> billet, billet head, billet block. Oh, not Pro Mod turbos. Wow. Two big boy turbos. So you went from seeing an FC over there drifting and now. FC drag car. FC drag car. EG drag car. The nicest Chevy Nova. Yeah. I was getting a little worried that I was a bit sketchy in practice. So did a safe run, got all the zones. I, if it was like Europe, I would have got a little higher score because of line. Yeah. But here they, they're very much on style. Like everything's about big angle, big smoke. Didn't do a lot of that. So I got a good lap in. I think it's enough for me to go to straight to the battles later yeah. today. So I don't have to do a second qualifying run, which is awesome. So we're just gonna do a little stroll around the pits because yeah. you know we've been sitting around the car all day. I want to go enjoy the sunshine yeah. and see some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. this car's fun. This car's fun. What's it's RB25, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, Njuka's been building cars for a long time. Ah, nice. Big boy. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's a 25 despite the covers. Uh, built 25, all Brian Cara, everything, top to bottom. What's she run? Uh, it probably makes about 700. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, we got a little bit of nitrous on it just to get, you know, get it going. How do you know? find it compared to the RX-7? Probably a little easier? Um, I mean... Oh, you're so used to the RX-7. Yeah, the RX-7 is fun to drive, but I've never put grip on it like this. True. So, like... You know, I, I was already breaking dips in that thing, so you know, the more you grip it up, the more you break yeah. shit. So right, this, you're just trying this to thing off. has got, it's got drop knuckles, all that crazy shit. You know, it's just, just everything ready just to go. tooted and booted, my guy. It's, yeah. Like I've never felt something that just like, yeah. you know, it, yeah. it really pushes you down. I've never done competition grip thing. This is this your my first, first year. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm um, hoping, I'm hoping uh, you get as far as you get this weekend. Good. I'm just here to have fun and learn. Like this year, I'm counting as learning, yeah, so yeah. that's my excuse for losing all the time. <laughs> I'm uh, learning a very long time. <laughs> Next year, I'm coming for blood. Next year, I'm. I have done so much learning. At yeah. some point, it will pay yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out, man. No, no, no. See you. How much spot they put it up through the like through here? Look at that! Wow, it's like a drag toy almost. <laughs> it's nuts. That's insane. That's a three fifteen. 315-4018 on an E36 BMW. Almost wow. like two tires touching in the middle. It's that much grip. The way it's pulling through is nuts. Hi. So, I guess I'm kind of doing Dave's videos, so I've kind of just been acting more of a, a cameraman, really, than talking on the camera. Because it is pretty overwhelming. I haven't really shot a drift event in years, so I'm just out there trying to film and trying to make sure I capture whatever I can, filling in for Josh. I'm being blinded by the sun. From my perspective, this is pretty amazing. I mean, Dave got invited over to drive a Corvette and even just being here in this weather in the Freedom Factory, surrounded by Crown Vicks and stuff, it's hilarious. Dave did his qualifying earlier and he actually qualified. So he is probably battling tonight. I think he's battling someone tonight. And then if he wins, he's gone up against Adam LZ, which is hilarious. Both of us are just excited that we're in this nice weather, which is apparently cold for Florida, which is unusual because this is warmer than a good summer's day in Ireland. Yeah, so we're up against uh, the Falcon driver. Um, he's very good. So it's gonna be a really tough battle, which I would normally not take too seriously and just see what happens. But then if I beat him, then I get Adam LZ in the top 32. So now there's a little bit of a carrot on the stick. <laughs> So um, things have taken a turn for the worst because it's shaking. Um, so I'm sitting over there. We, we just ran into the back of uh, Raphael because his car shut off. They were fixing it. We were fixing the Corvette. And Alicante just said, who are you battling? And I said, this guy. And as I said, this guy, his entire car just exploded yeah. into the air. And I think like people got, I think his intake exploded with nitrous or something. I've never seen an explosion like it. So there's tears, there's people hurt. This is not what we wanted. It's like, I think Insane. everyone's okay, okay, I think. But um, I'm still, like that was yeah. frightening. Like you'd never think it in drifting that like nah. that's gonna happen in the pits. And then there's just people standing around everywhere. It was such it? an explosion. I ran in from the middle of the track. Then it went on fire. And it was like the fire wasn't the worst part. It was just this explosion. So I don't know. It's insane. This is like, it's definitely not how you want to win a battle. I was having so much fun. We yeah, were just I know. Like going it was cool even to see it one more time. Yeah, we were going toe it's to toe. one more time. Though. And we were going in, hugging, yeah. and like feel so bad for their team, man. It's just, yeah. we're still from to go such, out, like. such a high and then we're to such a low. There's no intake left. There's no intake left at all. The intake oh, on the man. top is just gone. Oh, whoa. 
That's a... I've never seen anything like that in my life. Pretty fucking insane, man. So these are uh, very unprecedented events. So basically, they have to shut the event down because the ambulance has to go with... There's like I think there's a, a kid, I'm not sure who, in the ambulance. They're going to take that ambulance to the nearest hospital. They're 40 minutes back, so they can't run the event without uh, an ambulance so they gave me the choice to take the win against Raphael or allow him the 40 minutes the ambulance is away to fix the car or try and fix the car to come back out so I'm not going to try and win like this so I said absolutely let them try and fix, fix the car let's go back out win it on the track let's not win it in the pits and their team are going to try and put the car back together either way this is the most dramatic battle I've ever been in two one more times two crashes and now an explosion and we're not even out of the top 64. <laughs> so they're going to try and clean the car now and get it. Hopefully they can get it done. They're going to try and put a manifold on it and get it fixed and see what they can do. So, yeah. So the boys are taking the intake and all the parts out of this road car to put it back into the BMW to try and get it ready in time to battle me. This is insane. Five minutes. That's all. Back out. Yeah, they they were at fault, so they only get five. They had to call it. Okay. Dave got ten. Uh, Dave agreed that when we were all ready, we let the ambulance come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Nobody wants to win this way. Yeah, yeah, I know. We like to see the fight. Yeah. I'm I'm like nervous for them. I want them to get it done, but I don't know I don't know anything about mechanical, so I don't know how far away they are or they've taken all the parts out of this. I don't even know what this is. Something with an LS. So they took all the parts out of this road car. They drove this from the car park in here. Really? And just started stripping it. I was like I don't know. Well I've ever never been in a battle like this, but I think this might be the most dramatic battle I've ever seen. Like, and you've seen a lot, so yeah, like explosions, crashes, shutoffs. They're putting it together. I don't know. Hope they get it done. So this is your car. Yeah. You just drove here to the event in this. Yes. Yeah. And you just gave them all your parts. Yeah. Whatever. And he doesn't know us. And he doesn't even know them. First, I don't even know his name. First time. Man, whatever. Drifting, <laughs> drifting is the same all across the globe, man. It's just the best people. <laughs> Seventeen seconds. Ocho. o'clock in the morning. o'clock in the morning. We're on our way to uh, top 32. So today I'm battling Adam LZ, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, and really early start. So we start practice at like half eight in the morning. And then our battle is like, I think it's around midday. Things have escalated again. So because of the damage I put on the front of the car last night, we're going to run it with no front end, which makes it look like Mad Max, like a boogie. And boys were watching my onboards and stuff from yesterday and said that it doesn't look like I've got too much grip for the amount of power the car has. The car is running about 500 horsepower on really sticky 285s. So now they're going to put the nitrous on it. We're going to go up to 700 horsepower which should make the car a rocket and give us a lot more pace against Adam today. Misfire in the car on the first two runs there. Um, getting more confident in the chase, but it was down on power, so I didn't know what it was, but it turns out the alternator um, was dropping voltage throughout the run, so the car revved so high. So Alex here and the boys are just trying to get the car ready. We got like 
15, 20 minutes, should be okay. Yeah. This man is, has been a hero all weekend. Just, <laughs> he's got the enthusiasm that I, if we had, you could, you'd run a whole team on one Alex as opposed to four other guys. So <laughs> we're going to go over and talk to Adam. We're up against him next, so we're going to see what his thoughts are. Nice. Very, very noisy. So randomly, I'm up against Adam in the top 32, too. Weird four weeks. It's gonna be like, a good time. It's gonna be a good time. So I'm not gonna say that my car has a problem because it doesn't have a problem, but we're fixing that problem. But it's all good. We have it all today. We're going in. It's gonna be good. Put the nitrous on. I'm sorry, we have to try keep moving down the rocket ship. But uh, it's gonna be fun. So we just came in from our battle with Adam LZ and unfortunately, I thought it was so unlucky. The misfire that we had in practice came back into the car, turned on the nitrous, turned on everything, went in behind Adam and it was pulling up the straight and then when I threw it in, he was fast and I went to go on the, on the throttle. There was just no throttle, there was just no power. So it just kept sliding me wider and I ended up in the, on the grass and then from there, you, you just know you're, you're almost like a camera car watching him finish the run. And then in the lead, I was like, well, like I have to go in hot, I have to go in fast. Did the same thing, just first corner, I'd come in, handbrake, put the throttle down, and I'm foot to the floor, and it's not spinning the wheels. So you're kind of just hoping the car will do something. So unfortunately, like it's something that we couldn't have avoided because it's like one of those gremlins. And the car yesterday was, was sweet. I really would have loved to try the 700 horsepower on the nitrous. I think we would have given Adam a better go. But like he's a Zen master at this stuff. He makes no mistakes. He just goes through it like it's an average Tuesday every battle. And to him, it is. so. He's a, a lot of seat time, he's an amazing driver, and in that E36, he's like nearly unstoppable. But to be even here, to even competing at this level, in the sunshine, in a car, like I'm taking it as all a positive. And the one big thing I'm taking as a positive is, probably not a good enough driver to be driving at this level or getting these opportunities, which we're gonna try and rectify by going to Drift Week and doing 16 days of driving with James Dean and all the boys, so I can actually get better at drifting spent a lot of time this year doing events and stuff so I want to get better at driving because I kind of put it on the back burner and then I'm, I'm kind of expecting myself to just turn it on when I come to these events so it's been an adventure of a 48 hours you guys will see in the video it's been just madness and this video is really long because we just wanted to put everything in there everything was mad that happened and thank you Neil for filming yeah. everything it has been an absolute it's, adventure so far oh and we're not even getting started on our adventure we're only yeah. about like what fourth of the way through. You threw me in the deep end here. Yeah. <laughs> threw me. Look at his little red face. I'm under stuff. pressure all weekend, but I absolutely love every second of this. I mean, just going from zero to 100 is just incredible. Oh, look, we, we're all out of our comfort zone, but that's kind of what makes it fun, I think, yeah. for you guys. So remember, like, comment, subscribe. A lot of you guys don't subscribe to the channel. I think like 50% of people don't subscribe. So you hit it and hit the notification bell, you'll know we're putting out a new video. Well, I'm here for another four weeks, and I am telling you, this is only the start of the madness we're going to do. So we'll wrap this video up here. The next one, I don't even know where we're going next, but you'll see me and Neil on more adventures. We're probably going to go to the LZ compound and mooch about looking at stuff and pointing at things. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. See you then. Bye.